What's going on guys, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Trinkshire Repair channel. As always, I'm Dan. Now it's snowing outside and the last time it was snowing, I happened to do a video on some Louboutins and I happened to have a pair of the gents Louboutin Paris shoes in today. And what we're doing is a full leather resole and of course replacing the signature red sole, which is something I haven't done on the channel before. So it should be a little bit of fun. Stick around, see what it's all about. Okay, once again, welcome back guys. Hope you're doing fantastic. Let's get started. Hope you're all doing well. Drop down in the comments what you guys have been up to. I do enjoy seeing what you get up to from time to time. Now about the job, we've got another pair of expensive Louboutins and you'll have seen me do the red mirror soles many times. If you haven't seen it before, if you're new to the channel, stick around. You're gonna see how we sort out the red soles. It's pretty cool. But we haven't done a job where we're replacing the leather soles. So as you can see here, he's worn all the way through the reds missing off the heel so we're going to strip it down replace the leather sole and uh, see if we can recondition the uppers a bit there's some creases there a lot of people always ask me to remove creases you can never fully remove creases but we can make them look better so i'm going to show you how we approach that let's get started so here it comes here comes the snow i mean it's wet so it's not settling but if it does settle on the ground i might have to abandon this video and shoot home because my car doesn't do very well in the snow being a big rear wheel drive american lump all right let's get started guys ah oh, i'm busted already you'll notice i've just changed my shirt i just shot the thumbnail and i wanted to dress up a little bit but we're going to remove the top lift and what we've actually got is a sort of leather stick on sole on the top that we need to remove so we're just going to apply a bit of heat loosen everything up See how easily this chap comes apart, or he's going to be a bit of a cheeky monkey. We just need to whack the heel block off before we can get to the rest of it. This thing has seen a whole lot of wear. Get it? Right, so now what we've got is the main leather sole and that is stitched on, Blake stitched, so stitches go from the outside through to the inside of the shoe. Can you see it? Ah, it's quite dark in there, isn't it? So now we're just gonna cut away the stitches and remove this whole sole. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. He was a good friend of mine. I never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink his wine. Right, so there's the remainder of the sole off and we're down to ah, the bare bones. So there's not really a cavity in here, but we just need to get a little bit of fresh cork in there and, uh, and then work on the new sole. So as I said, the construction of this is a Blake stitch where the stitches go through the sole to the inside of the shoe. That means we've got old threads inside the shoe and we need to remove. Right, so I'll just put a bit of glue on there. And now we've got our cork filler, flexo fill. So I'm gonna pop a bit of him in the space. It's good to get your hands dirty a little bit sometimes. <clears throat> I'm 
Who wants to know a secret? <laughs> I already just did this, put the cork filler in and I didn't hit record. So I took it all back out and I'm just doing it again. The lengths I go to to make YouTube videos for you good folks. Well, that said, I could just do my job properly in the first place and remember to press record. Right, so just while that cork's drying, I'm gonna have a quick interlude and go two doors down the road and see my neighbors in their shop, Love Me Maison, because they've got something in there which is quite fitting for this video. You'll see what it is in a minute, it's quite cool. Right, out into the miserable weather, so just two doors down. Here we are. All right, here we are. Here are the guys, busy as usual. How you doing? So the guys have got loads of quirky, cool stuff in here, but what I want to show you is this genuine lube chair, which is pretty unusual. So yeah, I had to just show you guys this cool little thing. Legend has it that Christian himself sat in this chair and apparently it's 150 quid. So if you want it, come and buy it. If any of you guys make a special trip to come and see me in the shop with your shoes, pop in and see these guys. They got loads of cool stuff. Okay, we're back in the shop and I've got something to show you uh, regarding our new sole. This here. So what we've got here, uh, this my friends, I can get it, it's heavy. This is called a leather bend. So you always see me using leather soles that are cut to shape. So this is just an entire one piece sheet of leather. It's basically the side of a cow. So the customer wanted to use the premium leather for the job and I just happened to buy this. It works out a little bit cheaper than getting the pre-made soles. So we're gonna cut this up and cut out the general shape for our soles. So I've got to get on my knees and get to work. Now I got this from Charles Birch. Charles Birch, one of my suppliers. Some of you guys ask me where I get my stuff from. If you guys are in the trade, cobblers, and you're wondering where to get stuff from, Charles Birch is someone that I've used for 10 years. Very reliable, so get in touch with them if you need any materials. Tell them I sent you. Actually, you don't do that. They'll probably charge you double. Who needs to go to the gym when you got this? Okay, so our shoe's ready and we've got our custom sole ready. I was about to glue it all together, but we're gonna to go to a different step and that is addressing the creases in the top. Well, first of all, I just wanna give it a general clean so we can clean down around the edge where the uppers are going to meet the sole before we get the sole on. Um, we're also gonna have a look at these creases, so let's go. All right, so this will be straightforward. We're gonna use the Saphir Gentle Cleanser because this is a smooth leather and that'll do the job just fine. So we'll take our cleaner, take our brush, Get some on there and then get to work getting all the dirt out of all the little creases and cracks. It smells quite nice this gentle cleanser. I'm weird like that. I like to smell everything in the shop. I even get guests to sometimes come and smell stuff, you know, make a day of it. All right, now that's dry. Now I'm gonna show you how we can try and lessen these creases. You never get rid of them completely, but we can try and hide them a bit. So what we're gonna use is a mixture of stretching fluid and rubbing alcohol. So just get it on there, let that permeate the fibers of the upper. So once that's had a minute to soak in, what we're gonna do is manipulate and massage the uppers in the opposite direction to the crease in a sort of pinching fashion. So pinching it, rolling even, and then just working our way along. It's all the way along the length of the crease. So what we're doing is really just trying to reverse the direction of the, uh, the stress that's been put onto the fibers of the uppers. Stress it the other direction, if you will. And sort of uh, stretch it back the other way. This does take a bit of elbow grease, I'm not gonna lie. Got some strong thumbs. Okay, so, ah, that's a bit better, I'd say. 
Anyway, now the liver's dry, so we need to rehydrate it. So what we're gonna do is take a good shoe tree, in there. and this is also going to help with the creases. Get your shoe tree in there, get the uppers nice and flush on there as they should be. And then get yourself some Saphir Renovator Nourishing and Conditioning Cream. This is the gold standard in a conditioning cream. It's such high quality, so I'm just gonna get some there. And again, massage it into the creases. Well, I'm gonna go over the whole shoe. Do all of the upper with the Renovator. And this is gonna keep the leather supple, increase its life, stop it cracking anywhere else. And remember, you can grab everything that I'm using in this video on our online shop, tringshoerepairs.com, if you need anything for your shoes. All right, now last step, I'm just gonna get a little bit more of the Renovator on the creases, just to lube it up a bit for this next step. I'm just going to take my hammer and I'm just going to be pressing the creases against the shoe tree and that's just going to flatten them out a little bit. All right, so back to business. So it's time to get glue on everything. I'm going to, or it's time to enlist Chief Ron to help with the gluing. So without further ado, let's get sticky. Okay, I'm gonna give that a couple of coats. Uh, and then when it's dry, heat it up and stick everything together. So there's our new sole on and trimmed around and you'll notice that I've sanded this sole so it's not finished and some of you guys maybe if you're new to the channel you'll be saying Mr. Dan that doesn't look like a lube shoe it's not red how are you going to make it red so I'll show you what we're doing we're using this which is called Caselli mirror soling and this comes in sheeting and soles today we're using a sheet so the original Louboutins are painted red this is rubber so it's going to last a lot longer and it's going to look fantastic once it's on but before we can do that there's a few things we need to do we're going to stitch the sole on so we need to get a groove in the sole and these don't have a fiddle back waist but they do have a bit of a taper on the sole so we just got to get that in as well stitching you have to remember to take out the liner. hammer your stitches flat or else Steve at Beedos will tell you off let's get some tacks in the heel as well wonderful luck right ok 
Okay, so now we're ready to get our mirror sole on. So, for the second time, ladies and gents, let's get sticky. Just while I've got you, and that's drying, guys. I'm gonna show you this, because I didn't wanna make a whole bit out of it for the video. We've gotta do the heels, right? So we're using the original heel blocks. We're using some rubber sheeting that's just dead plain and smooth, so similar to the original. And then we're gonna take some more of the Mirasol sheeting and cut the shape of the red section of the heel. So I'm just gonna cut that all up, put it together whilst this is drying. Just get a bunch of this excess off with scissors and then we can save spare bits for later scissors are fine sometimes no need to reinvent the wheel So our soles all on and we just inked around the edge, but you'll just see there's a tiny couple of marks of ink on there. So we need to get that off the sole and the best way to get that off is actually using some sole stripper. So we've got the jerk off and we're just going to use that to get rid of some of these black marks to get that perfect pristine mirror finish look. Okay, lovely jubbly. Uh, so now the last piece of the puzzle is the heel. Now what I can show you, you remember we put the slight beveled hump here on the waist. So what we've had to do is put a bit of a anti-hump in the bottom of the heel block so it sits over nicely. So just gonna get that on, glue it on, nail it from the inside, and then we can work on finishing touches. show you this guys I'm changing the band on the machine and sometimes you can get excess noise and vibration and what we've got is bits of rubber and dust that is stuck on the wheel underneath the band so what we need to do is just get an old knife and scrape off all these bits and then when we put the new band on there's not going to be any uh, these bumps underneath the sanding belt making all that noise and vibration a little cobbler hack there for you So 
what we do is just finish off the edges, especially the heel blocks with very fine sandpaper. This is 1500 grit. And reason being, even when you're really careful using the smooth belt sander, it can still leave uh, some lines and marks. If we use sandpaper, we get rid of all of those and get a nice smooth finish before we paint it and polish it. All right, so there's our sole done. It's looking pretty sexy, right? There's a few things left to do. We're gonna do TLC, but we've just got to get the heel liner back inside, some fresh laces. I'm gonna do a ladder lace on, uh, and then the TLC, so let's crack on. Bye. 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 <laughs> right, so we've got some fresh wax laces. Like I said, we're going to do a ladder lace because that looks smart in dress shoes like this. I was going to do a whole video of how to do a ladder lace, but I'll see if I can just show you very quickly. You essentially go from the outside in, equal lengths on both sides, and then you jump up one whole space each side and then come across so you're never crossing the gap in the tongue. There's your ladder lace, obviously it looks a lot smarter when you can't see the lace crossing underneath. I am gonna do a tutorial of how to do a ladder lace. I'm gonna pull my finger out and do it, but I think I need to uh, find a shoe where it's clearer for me to show you guys how it's done. So I'll just do a quick, nice, neat looking Parisian knot on these as well. If you don't know how to do a Parisian knot, I'll drop a link just here to video that I have showing you, just so you can look like the smartest guy in the office or lass. Right, so we get our shoe tree in. It's always helpful to put a shoe tree in when you go to polish shoes. It gives you a decent surface to work on. So we already used the Renovator conditioner to hydrate the leather, but they're a little dull from where we've been working on it. So we're going to use another conditioning cream, which is the Saphir 1925 cream, which you'll have seen me use a lot. It's made with shea butter and a whole bunch of high quality ingredients and oils. So this is just going to put that black pigment back into the leather. It's gonna soak in and stain it. Also smells fantastic. So when you put cream on, it really is just like a magic eraser. It just covers up any marks or scuffs that you might have got just from uh, everyday light scuffs. You know, if you just catch it on the edge of the settee or something, it leaves a little mark. Cream is what's going to really just make it disappear. We've already got a pretty fresh shine with the 1925 cream, but we can do a little better. We're gonna put a layer of wax on. So we're gonna use the Medal d'Or wax, and that's just gonna really make it pop. I like to use fingers to apply sometimes. You just get that little bit of heat, which helps the wax melt, soak into the fibers. Okay, right, I think that'll do. So job done. So there we go, job done on our lubes. So we've had the full leather sole replacement and the Caselli mirror soles and heels on top. And of course, just giving the uppers some attention, some good old TLC. And I think they look really smart. So now we've just got to get them back in the post to the customer. Going back to Dave, you guys always like to know the cost of these jobs. I believe this was 220 pounds all in. Being that these shoes are around six, 800 pounds new, 
not bad at all. So anyway, that is it. That is the job and that is the end of the video. I think this is the third shirt that I've worn in this video. It's got to be some sort of record. Reasonably, this is this is day two. The video rolled over, but it is what it is. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, please hit like. It really does help me with the channel. And remember, if you have any questions about a shoe repair that you want us to do, or if you want to buy any of the Safir products that we sell, visit our online store, tringshoerepairs.com, and you can contact us there by the contact form. Please bear with me. It does take me a few days to get back to the emails because it gets so many of them and I can only look at them in the evenings and if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content please consider subscribing I really do appreciate it and I'm doing new content when I can and you guys that are regulars make sure to hit the notifications bell so you are kept in the loop when I upload new content but for that's it or now uh, I'm out of here I'm gonna head to the pub I believe but thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time cheers